Howdy folks and welcome to Fake Flights Help to Prove the Plane. And if you didn't see my first uh, video, um, I'll leave a link down below. You should watch that first as so I go into more depth and map it out. Uh, but basically what I did in that video was look at flights in the southern hemisphere, trying to jump from uh, continent to continent, mapping it out on Google Maps and then mapping it out on flat earth map and realizing that the flat earth map showed the routes to make sense and the Google Maps didn't and the way they were trying to hide these ridiculous routes was with fake flights fake non-stop flights that aren't real and you can't get this video will just focus on some of the changes that took place since then like fair compare had to change their website and their flight search format that happened like a couple weeks after the video came out um, also some of the non-stops that they had out there disappeared from the searches um, as they were trying to figure out what to do I'm sure sometimes they were in the searches sometimes they weren't um, and then also now they've added some new uh, fake flights so I'll go over those And yes, even though uh, it was a daily fight with shills and uh, it wasn't fun, <laughs> I blocked over a hundred of them so far. Daily fight for two months, still happening, uh, because this is a huge lie and uh, they're trying to keep this one a secret. And this lie in particular uh, really pissed off a lot of people. Um, including a lot in the airline industry because this lie is one of the big ones propping up the flat earth lie and this lie exposes the flat earth a lot faster than people are ready to have it exposed uh, including a lot of flat earthers and I'll probably make another video on that another time proof where is your proof how many times did I hear that uh, proof is in the logic first of all if you know the earth is flat like I do then logically these are not real flights but I know people need more proof than that um, besides the actions that I've seen on this video since then which also prove it to me but here's how we get real proof and expose it calling out to friends in the southern hemisphere we need your help show up to these airports and look for the gate of these fake flights and I bet you won't find one and if you do find one I bet there won't be a plane pulling up or any people lining up for it because uh, they can fake these flights to a certain extent but they can't fake it that far so let's expose it let's expose fake flights and the flat earth <laughs> Please make sure that your seatbelt is securely fastened. Seatbelts can be purchased for $5. <laughs> to fasten, insert the metal fitting into the buckle and tighten the buckle by pulling the loose end away from you. To release, purchase a release flap for $7. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. We've never paid for seatbelts before. Once we've reached our cruising altitude, your flight attendant may or may not go down the aisle with snacks. If she chooses to, each passenger will be given a single peanut. Alright, this is Expedia, and it's a Sydney to Santiago search. And I can show you that every single one of these options on this page, which is 15 or 16, um, is fake. So we know this one is fake this one is the nonstop from Sydney to Santiago Qantas 27 sometimes it shows up in the search sometimes it doesn't this one is fake it used to only be available three days a week now it's available I think four days a week or so it says but this one is fake 12 hours and 40 minutes for um, for that flight nope you think after all these years someone would listen to you? Oh well, 
Report management, the FAA and the airlines. Oh, cheats and liars. All right, let's get out of here. Flat Earth is the biggest lie of all time. And they've kept it going for hundreds of years now. And the way they do that is uh, with a lot of supporting lies. And one of the supporting lies has to be fake flights. And I can tell you right now that makes them nervous because this exposes the flat earth faster than they know it's about to be exposed. So how far would they go to make you believe that these uh, non-stop flights are actually real? Um, well, this is how far they'll go. It was a colorful start for QF Flight 28 to Santiago, with Chilean dancers performing their national dance at Sydney Airport, giving passengers on the plane an exciting send-off for the 13-hour non-stop journey to this new Qantas destination. And guess who was there to meet them on arrival? Good morning. Yes, none other than John Travolta, the airline's ambassador at large in his pilot's uniform. Even workers on the ramp strained to get a look at the famous actor, who later spoke at a PAC media conference. Two wonderful countries being able to come together uh, with one flight, a non-stop flight from Sydney to Santiago, simple, simple trip. So, that one is fake, and every single other one of these ones is fake also. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Uh, no matter what the first part does, um, because all these flights eventually take off from Auckland and go to Santiago, and that we've already uh, shown is a fake flight. Um, you can't do it. So, uh, all you really need to see, this is that 11 hour, 20 minute flight for 6,000 miles, supposedly. Um, but uh, not on the flat earth map. All you need to know is that this is the same flight that's going to Auckland, 4.15 to 12.35, and you can see that all of these flights end at 12.35 no matter what the stops. This one goes through Brisbane first so is this one Melbourne first so those parts can be real I'm saying the Auckland to Santiago portion is not real and see they're all so all of these flights right here on this page are fake so whatever happens, I'm sure you try to book one and it says, oh, jeepers, nothing's available. Here's your next option to either Vancouver, San Francisco, or L.A. It's an entirely different kind of flying, altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind of flying. flying. Here's flight 800. This is the uh, one that I'm talking about, the Auckland, 6,000 miles, Auckland to Santiago. Supposedly leaving every single day. Now there's another flight. Flight 1316 wasn't in the first video. Now it's a new flight, supposedly. But I'll show you, they just copied this flight. So it's just a, another fake flight. <coughs> you can look here. Um, 415 departure time. Every single day of the week. So they both leave at the exact same time. Except for this one. <laughs> This one gets there in 10 hours and 15 minutes, and this one gets there in 11 hours and 20 minutes. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. So, yeah, this one, same jet, same seats, all that stuff. So, now they're just getting sloppy. Uh, so now there's two fake ones, and you can see that Flight 27 didn't come up. We can close these up and I'll show you that there's no non-stop in this. 
So interesting. And here's your dead giveaway. The Auckland flights. These are the two fakes. 813, 16, 7,337 miles. Your next options, double. And it goes all the way to 15.7. So you're either flying, there's one flight that takes you to San Francisco, then Houston, and then to Santiago. There's two different flights to LA that either take you to El Atlanta or Houston, and then Santiago. And then there is what? Uh, one flight to Vancouver and then you have uh, a couple of different options but I can take much more of this. Looks like I picked the wrong week to put amphetamines. Shana, they bought their tickets. They knew what they were getting into. The last time the flight is delayed. All right, here we are, Johannesburg to Perth. And I've opened up all the real flights. Um, but we'll go over the fake ones. This one is real to Singapore. Uh, and here's the flat earth map that I used uh, to map out the Johannesburg to Perth flights. And this flight right here from Johannesburg to Singapore to Perth. Almost a straight line and it's 7,800 miles. So that's where I'm getting that 5161 cannot be a real flight. Also, all these Sydney flights are fake. They disappeared from the search altogether the other day, but they're back today. Um, it's almost a straight shot on the flat earth map from Johannesburg to Singapore to Perth. And this is 7,803 miles. So, it's close to 8,000 miles, not 5,161. So, this flight right here 280 South African Airlines is a fake and that was in the first video you'll see a lot of these QF 64 Qantas 64 all of those are fake uh, those are all to Sydney. The first flight is to Sydney, 6.10 p.m. You'll see all of them are leaving at this time. So whatever the rest of the flight is, doesn't matter because the first flight part is fake. So this is a fake listing. <coughs> Chicken or fish? Chicken or fish! You see they're listing it at uh, even the one stop, 88.82, which is only one mile less than the two stop. Amazing. Uh, but yeah, um, this flight to Dubai, real, and that is 9,597 miles, Johannesburg, Dubai, Perth, and this one is to Abu Dhabi International, and this one's real too, but all the Q6, QF-64s are fake because this first part of the flight, Qantas 64, 6,847 miles. Uh-uh. A lot longer than that. And all the Sydney flights weren't even on the search the other day, about two or three days ago. Uh, today they are. So, yep, there you have it. And you can see I'm not using any dates in this search, so that way it pulls up everything. And I'll show you. I've got everything checked over here, so any flight, any stop, these are all the different airports. Alright, well thanks for tuning in, and uh, cheers to all the new subscribers, uh, welcome aboard. I kind of took a break there for a while, chalked that up to partially summer finally hitting where I live and also being a little overwhelmed by one video I made in particular 
And now I must be a glutton for punishment making another, but <clears throat> along those lines, I'm not going to argue about anything, really. Um, you can do your own research to find out about the Flat Earth. There's a lot of great videos out there made by other folks. Um, and that's how I learned about it, uh, partially. So yeah, do your own research. And it's not that I'm trying to avoid questions, it's just that I'm trying to avoid the people that are trying to throw me off track. Um, I'd be glad to help people that are genuinely trying to learn about the Flat Earth. But I'm not going to argue on, on this video, so that said, uh, we need folks in these key cities. Uh, Sydney, Santiago, Auckland, Johannesburg, Buenos Aires, Perth. Um, and also remember that these aren't the only fake flights. There's, you know, all, all the return uh, flights, uh, for instance. So, team up. Take your video camera to the airport and let's expose this lie which will expose the flat earth a lot faster <laughs> uh... cheers everyone now i know that some of you are still concerned about getting there safely enjoy your flight <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it's me the world traveler from the comment section i can assure you that uh... i have taken every single one of these flights that he says are fake and they are indeed real flights I'm sorry you're flying double miles, you just happen to not get one of them.